In this video, we'll be looking at our first attempt to map uh, tract of loblolly pines uh, on about 71, 72 acres of land in Coffee County, Alabama. Uh, the land is part of a larger tract of about 173 acres of farm that we have just outside of Enterprise, Alabama. Uh, the tract uh, is composed of loblolly pines that are about one year out from harvesting. So the job at hand is to count the number of trees we have to get a better idea of um, how much they're worth. So when we start getting bids, we'll have a better idea of what our inventory is. To count the number of trees, we'll be using a DJI Mini 2 drone uh, and software called DroneLink. And in DroneLink, it's easy to set up a, a mapping profile, a GPS mapping profile, uh, to, to fly a pattern and capture still images and once all the still images are captured, is to, uh, to upload that to Maps Made Easy to get a single high-definition image of all the trees on your property. The DJI Mini 2 captures video in 4K, so it's fairly high quality for a fairly inexpensive uh, uh, drone. Here's a flight over the, the uh, farm, as you can see the trees down below, and you can see how packed together they are. So it would be important to get a high resolution uh, image of the property so you can actually count the number of trees. Here is video of the mapping process. Uh, using drone link software. Uh, you can see in the lower left the path of the drone uh, based on the GPS coordinates that we input to the to the drone prior to the flight. As you can see the the, the red dot there is the actual uh, position of the drone relative to the farm and as it goes along it captures still images with about 50 percent overlap. We'll speed the process up so you can watch the drone footage as we capture the images along the trail. At about this location, the mission stopped momentarily to return to home base for a change of battery. Mission stopped. Three, two, one. Following replacement of the battery, the drone heads back to the position where it stopped recording uh, when it initiated the return to home uh, for the battery replacement. It does this automatically.
with 50% overlap, Maps Made Easy had a very difficult time of finding the same registration marks between overlapping images, because as, a, as you know, most trees look alike. And so they suggest 80% overlap when you're doing tree mapping. And so we're going to refly this mission with 80% overlap in hopes of getting a better outcome. When the mapping mission is complete, the DJI drone automatically returns to its previous home position. Pattern recognition software is not readily available to go through and identify individual trees within a forest uh, from aerial photography. <clears throat> However, in the next couple of images, you'll see where we've gone through identify individual trees with a red dot. And then it's a simple matter to count to uh, count the red dots using uh, different kinds of programming that allows you to do that. It's all fairly simple. Uh, but <clears throat> hopefully, if you were to identify these individual trees, uh, perhaps some sort of AI pattern recognition algorithms could be developed uh, that would help you identify trees automatically. Of course, it would still have to be evaluated visually to make sure that you've that you've identified all the trees and not identified things that were not individual trees. So, but anyway, to make a long story short, it's been a worthwhile project, and we should have more at a later time. Thank you for watching. Bye.